Welcome, welcome, welcome. My lighting always be off a little bit. Welcome, y'all. Welcome to Red Closet. Waiting on my co-host. Y'all already know how we do. But tonight's topic is going to be a good one for Mail Crush Monday. Facebook has been acting crazy lately. So, we'll see how it goes tonight. Welcome. Thank you for joining. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the inboxes. I appreciate all the topics that are coming. I appreciate you taking time just to watch me. Just to tune in. Waiting on my slow co-host, as usual. Mm-mm. Hi, Junior. Where you at? Well, I tell you, I can't read break. There we go. <laughs> I switched it up. Hold on. You know, I always got to do that every time I get on live for me to hear you. Hi, boo. Hey, boo. What's up? Nothing. How you? I'm good. How you? Good. <laughs> oh, okay. Period. Anyway, y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in your share the live, all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's the energy for me. You acting like you had a good day. You had a good day? I had an awesome day. Me too. <laughs> Period. <laughs> good evening. Share the grapes now. It's the only thing I ate today. I'm just realizing I ain't eat all day because I've been running all day. I got to do better. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. The topic of tonight, because it's Men Crush Mondays, I want to extend it to the men. I want to get some feedback from the men. Um, and it's, men, what's the hardest thing about dating? And why are y'all scared to shoot y'all shot? And also, describe your perfect date or what, or what has been your favorite date. Or do y'all even date anymore? <laughs> 
<laughs> but I just have sex, so I'm the wrong person to talk about this. So, men, come up here, please, and tell, and tell us about y'all's experience. You do go on dates. Cut it out. Don't start your, don't start. Baby, all my dates end in that place. Look, I ain't got no problem with that. Okay. 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 Girl, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Brian. I, I wanted to change up the scenery today, so I, I came downstairs. I noticed. That's why I was like, you look like you downstairs because that's that pillow. I thought so. <clears throat> so, um, hold up. Is anybody gonna come? Anybody gonna sh come up and share their story? Let me let me share this with somebody. <clears throat> I noticed Facebook has been dragging. I was watching my homeboy live just now, and they kept booting him off. So I don't know what's going on with um the algorithm. <clears throat> good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> hey, Aisha. Again, the topic is men. What's the hardest thing about dating, and why are y'all scared to shoot y'all shot? <laughs> I mean, the hardest, I, me personally, I don't like to shoot shots because it's like, when I when I shoot shots, I'm not going to say I get turned down, but it's like, I don't know, it's always been, I've only maybe shot my shot maybe five times in my life, right? And it's always been like, oh, I'm, I'm in a relationship, something like that, right? But I, I know I'm not crazy, like, the energy you exuding and how you stand at me. I could have been crazy, but it make me feel crazy. So I just, I just stop. I say, fuck it. I just stop. If you don't come up and talk to me, I'm not going to talk. You know, it ain't going to go no further. I guess you can, I don't like rejection. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not, I mean, look at me. You can, it's hard to reject me. I don't like rejection. So with that being said, you know, let's you see. Not you not going going tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> that is hard to hard find right? someone on your level though. Why is it so hard? What do you mean your level? And women, be prepared because I'm asking the same question on Wednesday for y'all. I just want men feedback tonight. It's the mental for me. So for as you said it, for as the mental, are you referring to her mentality more as like where she at in life or for is, is she crazy or for is I mean hey Laquita that's a new face hey Laquita <laughs> no that's my face oh hey, okay <laughs> that's a new face you know it don't it don't be showing me the names over here until they come in for some reason like you can see when they come in. I can't see them until they say something. I guess because it's on your page, and I'm just a guest. Oh. Independent women are out here, but that doesn't complete a woman. Brian, come up, because I, I feel like you have speaking. I feel like you you women bashing right now. Come up and explain <laughs> so we don't take it the wrong way. Because, you know, we, we tend to take stuff the he wrong way. He might be shy. He might not want to come up and speak. I don't like the now. I was about to say no. It's not being funny. That's one of the biggest turnoffs. Listening and communicating is a big key, and I mean huge key. Okay, so listening for as following directions, or listening for as just listening in general, listening to your needs, your wants, listening to because I've ran into men that. A lot of men like submissive women. So they like do what? Submissive women. <clears throat> More of listening to understand, not listening to just respond. Okay. Yeah, but I, I think that goes both ways. We're not talking about both ways tonight. We're gonna stay on topic. We're gonna try to stay on topic tonight. And I know we're gonna get off topic. 
Oh, so we go. Oh, so we just go bashing women like. Okay, y'all, we bashing women tonight. We not bashing. We no, on... We not bashing nobody. Well, I don't want that kind of energy today. I had a good day. <laughs> and you had a wonderful day as well. So we're not bashing anything tonight. We are gonna keep this positive energy rolling. We gonna really find out because I see a lot of women be like, I see men always say hey or hi or you know or they sit there and stare, but they won't say anything. Oh, you mean like how people see people with, with tags on their jeans and they, and they go and tell them about the tag and pull it off on them? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just doing a kind gesture today. <laughs> he was not too. He was not my type. I just seen him get out the car and I was like, he had a tag on the back of his, like, you know, the whole, um, Size thirty eight. It was going all the way down his back his pants, and I, I was like, that "It was me." Um, come here. And he was like, "Huh?" I was like, "Um, turn around." Yeah, you got a tag on the back of your pants leg. I want to say before you going in the store, cause he he was straightening his clothes like he had it all together. So I had to make sure he had it all together. But I do that with females too. Like if I see they tag sticking out in the club or whatever, I'm like, "Baby, I got your tag." Like now you can't. Now, you can't always do that because some people wear clothes to the club and then they go send it back. So you can't always call people out like that. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> he said, I'll join your live for a second. He ain't scared. He said, what you said? I'm coming. But, um, yeah, like, I see a lot of men, they'll sit there and they'll stare, but they won't say anything. Or they'll smile, they won't say anything, but then they'll slide in your inbox. I'm like, why you need to speak to me in person? And I get the, oh, a lot of women say, oh, oh, y'all intimidate. A lot of men be like, oh, y'all intimidating, you know, or they don't like rejection. So, because uh, men, men are tell me, oh, I know you get hollered at all the time. I'm like, yeah, I get the stairs, I get the oh, hey, beautiful, you know, stuff like that, but I won't get more than that for the most part. Because because when they see when when a man look at you and be like, hey, hey beautiful, they want you to come back and be like, oh, hey, what's up? They want you to kind of open up to give them that. They want me to buy. Okay, yeah, yeah, they want That's you to buy. What they want, like, like what's up? Like, talk to me, like. No. Oh. Welcome, Brian. What's up? What's up? It started glitching, though. I don't know if it's because I joined or what. It just started glitching. Oh. But you and bro, both of y'all staggered right now for some reason. No, we waiting for you to say what you was about to say. That's all. We just waiting. Nah, oh. I'm talking about a stagger. Like, is is y'all, I can see y'all, but it's, it's look like y'all in robot mode or something. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, well, you know she part robot. Uh, <laughs> Gino, don't play me. <laughs> you coming for me? We have a guest <laughs> on, and you coming for me? Welcome, Brian. I'm listening. What's up, baby girl? What's happening? Nothing. Much. I'm listening. I'm I'm listening. I'm listening. Let me let Keel out real quick because I'm not fuck shit out of her. Go ahead. Well, nah. I mean, which, which part you want to start on? Because it's, it's a lot to it. Like it ain't just simple. Like you know what I'm saying? It's it's complex. Okay, start from. Is it hard to date? Are you dating? I wouldn't even say it's hard to date. You know what I'm saying? It's just I don't know. It, it's hard finding people on your level more than anything. And see, a lot of people take independency and just make that so relevant to a point of like they're like, okay, I'm independent. You got to get on my level. And it ain't just about financial. It's not about the mental and about the physical. It's complex. You know what I'm saying? And and people look at you want sometimes you want ten people in one. It don't work like that. You got to take the good with the bad sometimes. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, not everything going to be, you might have a great dad or great, you know what I'm saying, like, boyfriend or whatever, but you ain't going to have, he ain't going to be the, probably the best sex partner. Or he might be the greatest in bed, but they're not, you know what I'm saying, super and other, like, but you're going to take some good with some bad. Like, every, you just can't get a, uh, just this super man or, and a woman, same thing, vice versa. You know what I'm saying? But. Right. You see a lot of people look at celebrity relationships or look at other people relationships and base it off of that. You can't. You can't. Because you might not be able to do what that woman do to make her to make that man go buy her Gucci bags and everything. And, and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
everybody got to take what they give and when they work with that and and base it off of how they could kind of, I guess, build from within themselves, not worrying about how everybody else building. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, right. and they look at that and feel, okay, well, so-and-so buying this person bags or he doing this for her, she doing, like, you can't base it off of that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I see a lot of people, you know, go the wrong route with that. You know, even when people like, I see a lot of women that like, feel like, oh, you don't post me on social media. But like, why we got to post on social media? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't care what the next relationship a couple are doing and how they gloating and how, that don't make us move. You know what I'm saying? Like, and a lot of people do that too. You know, they just, I don't know. So I feel like social media screwed up a lot of stuff for people because before we had social media, everybody was good with a lot of the, the not even gonna say basic, but the, the classic ways of how relationships went. People were happy with that. When social media came into the picture, oh man, this shit was, people want you, they, they want you to do extraterrestrial shit now to, to prove your point, prove your love. But to me, physical is more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Right. So action. So if I'm if I'm physically actually like doing everything I'm supposed to do in our natural real life, I don't care about no social media. You get what I'm saying? I don't have to show them show you off in that same manner. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm doing everything at home, everything when we go places, at whatever, whatever I need to do to make you happy, then social media is the last thing I'm worried about. You know what I'm saying? Also proving my platform as far as the relationship is concerned. Okay. You know, but. I don't know. A lot of people just, I don't know. I just feel like social media has screwed a lot of, even women, like a lot of, a lot of women confidence too. I felt like that went down because of social media. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot. Not, I ain't going to say y'all because I don't want you to think I'm talking about you. Oh, it's no. a lot of women I've seen got the potential to be great wives because they're good people in general. But like, they just think like they ain't, you know, they think a man playing with them. Like when a man approach a woman, I'm like, listen, you beautiful. <laughs> Sometimes we don't be playing, you know what I'm saying? But we don't be taking it serious as we need to be taken. And then when we give up, let's say I'm chasing you, right? And everything I'm saying, I'm true to the I'm true to the T about everything I'm saying, about how I feel about you, what I want to do with you, I want to take it to the next level. But when a woman does not take a man serious and we back off, oh nigga, I know you weren't this, how you weren't shit. No, that wasn't what it was. You didn't take me serious. And I got tired of trying to overdo it to keep proving it to you when I'm telling you, you should be you should take my word for it. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes we have to overprove ourselves because a woman don't want to take us serious. And then one day we probably lack from calling or whatever because we tired within ourselves now of trying to show you better. Oh, now we full of shit. Now we, we didn't mean what we said. Nah, that is not. Nah, that's not how it works. But we were, giving, when we were giving it our all, you ain't, you ain't really accepted it for what it was. But the minute we backed off, oh, now we ain't shit. Now we weren't serious. We, nah, that's not how that go, man. So can I ask you a question, Brian? Go ahead, bro. So what makes you shit? Like, what makes you feel like you the shit for the woman? What makes somebody feel like you the shit? Hey, I wouldn't even no, say. No, I wouldn't no, even no, put not it. somebody. We talking about you. Right Listen, now. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even put that in that context. You know what I'm saying? Just I'm somebody that can handle my business and do what I'm supposed to do for a woman. That's just point blank period. There's not really no context of like you the shit. Like I hate when women do that, saying oh, I'm a bad bitch. Nah, don't don't just be just be a great woman. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that the hieroglyphics. I I don't care for. It's like buying weed. Don't don't try to tell me weed and say, oh, this this crazy name. Just say it's good or bad. That's all I need. I don't need the extra. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, that's what they want. They want you to be extra. No, just be straightforward and just, you know what I'm saying? Just say say what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and that just, so, that is what we look so for. So what make you a good man? Because I hear a lot of men come on this platform and they talk to us like this, right? And they see here and they say all this. And they talk about how they're a great man, how they're an awesome man, how they're a good man. So, but nobody can still tell me what makes you a good man. From everything, man, the, the loyalty, the honesty, the, you know, the, the, the care to actually listen to a woman. Like, and, and well, I ain't gonna say anybody because a lot of people don't know the older me. Like a lot of people know the younger me, but the women that know the older me, they, they know I love listening. You get what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I want it in a lot of relationships and a lot of places and, you know, everything in my life. But, um, but definitely listening to a woman, taking her feelings into consideration, her emotions into consideration, you know, and everything she is, her dreams, like me, anytime I date somebody, like whatever dreams you got and want to do, I support. I don't do that. You can't go to no club. You don't, you don't, nah, I don't do none of that. Cause I tell people when you're in a relationship, you don't own a woman, married or not. You don't own a woman, the woman don't own a man. So whatever they want to do, it's not about, I have to ask you and you don't have to ask me. We can talk about it, communicate. And that's just that. But we're, we're grown. We don't own each other. So when it comes down to it, if you go where you're going and I can't trust you and you can't trust me, we don't need to be together. But it's not so much that you trying to keep tabs on people and want to GPS this woman and call every five minutes. And say, if she says she's going out with a girl, 
let it be that. You know what I'm saying? If she did do something fucked up, just hope it don't come back to your face. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not about to do this, calling you every five minutes, chasing, stressing myself out, worrying about if you're doing what you're supposed to do or not. If that's what you did, it, it'll come back. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not, I'm going to let you have your fun and do you though. But I'm going to trust you at the same time because I got to. You know what I'm saying? Because if we go into every relationship, like with that burden of, oh, worrying about what the last person did and not trusting, I'm telling you, you're going to be miserable with everybody you deal with. You know what I'm saying? Then you really got to miss if they're good or bad because you putting that blanket on everybody to begin with. So you're never going to be happy. So it really don't matter. Okay. So are you single, Brian? Right. I was nah. going to ask that. You nah. not single? No. Nah. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Ladies, you're not single. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because they're coming. <laughs> okay. So let me see the comments before I let you go. Yeah, it's hard to date, Scott said. Let me let you know. Um, not too much. Um, you impact a whole lot. That's what they were saying to you. A lot of times, some use social media to validate relationships that, which ultimately become the end of their relationship. Which is true. Um, yeah, I agree with you on a, a whole lot that you have said. Um, you did definitely unpack a whole lot. You clarified a whole lot as well. Um, you gave the insight of what what's really going on he on point with this one yeah he's definitely on point with this one i can't i don't even have nothing to say other than you on point with this one um yeah you damn sure brought it I, listen, I, listen, I, I, I will say this though like you know how some people be around certain things and like they see other people mistakes and they don't capitalize off it and like they make the same mistake I, that's what i pretty much avo try to avoid with everything, with, with my homeboys, we're getting in trouble. We're watching my mom marriage fail because, you know, I really tried to watch everything that happened around me and people the way it happened for people and try to capitalize on it and not make the same mistakes. So I could say, you know what I'm saying, gratefully, I actually really didn't go down the same path a lot of the stuff that I've seen because of that. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and like, I'm gonna give an example, like not really putting my mother business out there, but I can make an example of who, I mean, she wouldn't care, but um, like I used to over here as a child, like her husband be fussing with her, like you know, wow, what? Because you know how it is when you before you have kids, you probably have sex a million times a day or a week or whatever the case may be. But when kids get involved, things slow down because you got work and you got the kids and you got everything else that, that comes with the territory. So I used to hit them over here and I'm saying, um, why, why, why you don't have sex with me? Da 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 da. And she like, cause when I come home, I gotta do everything. I gotta cook. I got to clean. I got to take care of the kids. So right. in my mind, I'm, I'm 13, 14. I'm like, shit, that ain't going to be the reason I don't get none tonight. So when I got a relationship at about 19, I pretty much done everything. And people used to try to say, don't do that. Let the woman do something. Nah, you chill out. I know what I'm doing. So I did the cooking, did the cleaning, and still do it to this day. Do the cooking, do the cleaning, do the laundry. I don't fold because I, <laughs> I hate folding clothes. You know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, every relationship I've been in, the woman just had to go to work and fold the laundry. You know what I'm saying? I do everything else, and my kids will tell you that. Like they they love my cooking because they so used to me cooking. I've always been the chef. You get what I'm saying? But right. I said I said that's not gonna be the excuse why a woman say we can't make love or or however that mood of the night gonna be. That won't be an excuse because you you got no reason to be tired. You, you I'm not overwhelming you with everything, and I'm not looking at you as the woman and say, oh, you got to do everything because you're the woman. Right. Now nah, I never played that role. You get what I'm saying? So so I had success in that field as well because I took that like I said that example from my mom marriage and and say incorporated in my own and say like, nah, I ain't finna let this be the reason that a woman tell me she's too tired because she done everything. Right. Theoretically, if you love your woman anyway the way you should. I feel like no man should over, let her be overwhelmed with the lo with the load anyway. I don't care if he's the breadwinner. I still feel like that shouldn't be the reason or how you look at a woman, and especially young woman, as to say, oh, you got to do everything. And I got daughters. So I'm looking, I'm thinking about it too, like, damn, you think I want some dude to, like, make my daughter be a slave at home just because he's the breadwinner? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? So, so my girls also see that, and they understand what it takes. So, like, I tell everybody, y'all don't have it hard when it comes to for a man because my daughters ain't going for that shit that y'all do with me on the time. Oh, you sit your ass at home and don't. Nah, my daughters ain't going for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to do it. Listen, he's going to have it hard, man. But my girls are spoiled, and they know that's how a woman's supposed to be treated. They ain't never watched their mom get cursed out. They never watched their mom get belittled. They never watched their mom get talked down on. They only see, don't get me wrong, 
which is I never done even behind closed doors. We have our arguments, but I know how to actually talk to a woman. Like I don't have to dog her. Not have, do I curse? Do there are certain situations? Hell yeah, because I'm human. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I got emotion like anybody else. But like, but as far as the belittling and dogging, no, I don't. I don't handle it like that because that's not how you're supposed to. But my daughters just have never seen that, and my sons have never seen me talk crazy to a woman. So they not gonna know that aspect of it, nor accept that aspect of it, because that's not what they used to see. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't subject your kids to certain things, and then when they get older, you mad at exactly. this is how it turned out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you gotta you gotta keep them away from all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So that's what it boiled down to, man. So for me, like I said, it ain't so much just hard, man. It's just like, you got to have somebody on your love. And then, you know, a lot of people want to play still and not really so much just playing like, like just want to be goofy because, you know, you can have a little fun. But when it's time to be serious in a relationship, you got to be serious, man. And when it's time to play, we can play all day long. But like, well, how do you know this if you're not single? What you mean? Say what? Because he's been single not before. Tight. Yeah, like, yeah, we, I mean, we you got to think, we grown now, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was 20 and you asked me that, then I'd probably be way thrown off. But, you know what I'm saying? My my relationship experience, man, is, is high. And not just on a hoeing level. I'm talking about on a serious level, being sick. Like, I dated older women since I was, like, 20, 19. So I got schooled. But before before I got to where I'm at now, I got put in my place by women because they wasn't they wasn't going for that shit like that I thought was I was doing being cute and you know, all that I'm, shit. Now, them older women put you in your place, so... That's what got me on point. Mr. Brown, I'm sorry. One second. Um, let's see. Next time I ask a question. If I <laughs> Stop don't say looking up. Shut up. Because you up right now. All right. I'm sorry, Brian. I thought I thought she was speaking for you, Brian. I had to check her real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got to speak for Brian. Brian speak for himself. I promise you. That's, that's been proven. Leah said they don't want to put in the work. How do you feel about that? What she was pertaining to, though. What are you pertaining to, Leah? She said men don't want to put in work? Yeah. I, w I wouldn't say men. That's what I'm saying, too. Like, that's why I don't never be like certain things specifically about a woman. I just be like, I dealt with a woman that things didn't work out with. But I can't put it in a category and classify and say women don't do this and women don't do that. No. The women that I have dealt with don't do that, but you can't say that about everybody because there's so many good men and good women out here. We, when you don't encounter them, though, that's your attitude when you don't encounter them. But when you encounter them, you, you take that mind frame away from yourself and say, no, it ain't all women or it ain't, you know what I'm saying? But it's until you encounter that, though. You know, it's almost like anything with growth. Like, I hear a lot of people, like, with, it, with anything, like, if you don't have an example of it, I've never experienced it, you might think it don't even exist. You get what I'm saying? But right. when you actually have a piece of the pie, you be like, oh, shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then you see it differently. But until you had that, you will never see it different. So if, you date, if you're a woman that dated 10 men and all of them weren't shit, you're going to feel like ain't no good men because you dated 10 men that weren't shit. You date 11 one and he a good man, that should change your perspective and it's going to broaden your horizon to say, well, there's hope out there. But until you do, you're going to keep saying that. Same thing for men. They're going to keep saying the same thing about women. Women ain't shit until they meet that right one. Absolutely. The experience play a part, man. I tell people all the time, some things age, age, you can say age, but a lot of things in this world that I've grown to see, experience play a big part in it, man, like more than you could ever imagine. That's true. That's very true. Well, I thank you. I appreciate your input. You got any more questions, Junior? I bet you don't. <laughs> oh, you want me to ask questions then? Oh, I'm done. <laughs> I bet you don't. I guarantee you, you don't. Listen. Um, let's see. I have a different perspective because just because my parents did it, that doesn't mean that you don't want the opposite. Okay, B. What you mean, like? Be not talking to nobody. Be be over here just running his mouth with us. Um, I have a different perspective because just because your parents did it, that doesn't mean you want you don't want the opposite. What do you mean by the Aisha? Matter of fact, come on up. 
Yeah, I need her to enlighten me because I know for one thing, I don't care who did it. If I feel like it ain't going to work and it shouldn't be done, I'm not going to do it anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to want the opposite. Right. No matter who done it. Oh, Brian over here talking. Ladies, go ahead and eat him up, ladies. <laughs> ain't nothing. No. Nah. Eat him up, ladies. <laughs> hey, he want to start trouble. I'm, hey, I'm just yeah. keeping it honey. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just, I only see it that way, man. I, listen, nah, I don't, nah. I, I feel like, I feel like a lot of people do that. Like, they might see a hundred people do something and feel like, it was wrong, but being that 100 people done it, they feel like that's clarity to do it. No, don't be the 101 person. Like, when you know them 100 people done it wrong, then you be the one to make it right. Don't follow that 100 people that did it wrong, knowing you shouldn't even went that way with it. Like, no, nah, I ain't on that type of time. You're right. I don't, I don't move by masses and numbers. I move by what, what I know should be done and how it should be handled. You hear what I'm saying? I don't move that way. Touche. You gotta clarify, Isha. <laughs> now he come up and had the backdrop ready, like he already knew he was coming up here tonight. <laughs> Brian, you gotta excuse him. He always gotta come for somebody on this platform. Bro, good I, man, he good. <laughs> that's just <laughs> he peeps everything, comment on everything. No, nah, bro, good. I forgot that was even behind me though, till he said something. <laughs> yeah, he forgot it. <laughs> okay. Here she come. Hello. Hey, my love. Hi. Hi. What's up, what's up, How y'all doing? What's yeah, up, right? Brian? What's up? Ain't nothing much. So, okay, so this is what I meant by my comment when I said I have a different perspective because just because your parents did it, that doesn't mean that you want you want to do it. You would want to do the opposite. So if you saw your mom and dad being abused all your life, you're not going to think that that's okay. You're not going to want to live that life for yourself. You're going to want something different for you and your kids. So I don't necessarily agree what you said in the beginning because you did turn around and you changed it. Some guys use the excuse as, oh, I never saw my mom and dad kiss before, so I'm not an emotional person or I'm not a loving person. Well, that can be the complete opposite. Because you didn't see your mom and dad being loving towards each other, you're going to want that affection for yourself. So sometimes when you see things growing up, you don't necessarily want that. You want different for your life. I'm going to give you another example. Because you see your parents struggle your whole life, you see them working three and four jobs, trying to provide for you and your siblings. When you get older, you ain't going to want to work two and three jobs. You're going to want to make the life better for your children. So that's why I said I did not agree with your initial comment on what you saw growing up or how it was for you or what people perceive as, okay, this is what I see, so this is how I'm going to be. No, it don't have to be like that. You set the standard as an adult. You change things when you grow up. You want a better life for your kids, so you got to go out and do that. That's all I was trying to say. But, of course, you can't really explain all of that in the chat. But Right. I'm going to speak for me since you spoke for yourself. For me, the things that I grew up seeing and watching and doing, I didn't want to put my kids through that. So I bust my tail to make a better life for me and my kids. I don't want to do anything that my parents did besides work hard and get the things that I want in life. Other than that, no, no. You should not want to bring... You should not want to allow history to repeat itself, and you should want a better life for your children. That's all I was trying to say. But I think you right, did a right. great job. And like I said in the, the chat, you unpacked a whole lot. You came out the gate swinging with how you felt about relationships. Everybody is entitled to their opinion when it comes down to relationships and the things that they see or have seen growing up. And because you said that you've been through a lot in your past relationships and you saw your parents go through things, you set the standard in your new relationship. So that's it. That's right, right. But let, but, right. I just want to rebuttal on one thing though. Like when you sure. were saying about the about the about the dude with the kissing thing, it, it's one it's one thing to to want something, but also to not know how to go about it. So pretty much that example you just made, I'm glad you did that. So a guy who never saw affection and never got affection, 
he might get into a relationship wanting it, but he can't. He can, he will never be able to give to a woman until he learns how to. You get what I'm saying? Because when you've never had, when you never had mm -hmm. something like that, you can't you can't grow. You won't be grow into an adult and know how to give affection and just be a master at it. You're gonna learn, but you won't just start out in your first relationship and just know how to do it because you never had it. And that's why and I tell people it starts it starts at home with that with your childhood. Like my kids, I hug them, kiss them all the time, embrace them. My son mm -hmm. and my girls. So they mm -hmm. they're gonna understand and know what the feeling of affection is. But if I never done that and they get older in relationships, then it's gonna be harder for them to also accept it and, and, and actually give it because they never had it. And I, I can agree with you to a certain extent. And I'm gonna use the example that you gave earlier. You mentioned social media and how people put their relationships on blast on social media. So just because you didn't have it, you're seeing other people with it. And you're gonna wonder, okay, well, this guy always talking about his girlfriend or this guy and this girl always kissing in their videos. You're gonna mimic what you see. So if you're seeing something on TV and you're wondering to yourself, well, how did it get to that point? And you're gonna try to mimic and be that way with your significant other. But TV experience and like the experience of like what you, what you see in your household, it's kind of two different experiences though. You know I what I'm saying? Like it's, it's I, not, it doesn't like, like what your parents do, what your parents do and what you see in the household, like your parents are your first teachers. So if you probably see like a lot of craziness, not, not saying everybody will because not everybody gonna do the exact same thing that they see. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of kids do follow what they have seen. Like I've seen, and I, and I know for a fact, I got a lot of homegirls that, that got in relationships because they watched their mom get abused. So they were subject to that. You get what I'm saying? A lot of dudes that I know, not, not that I'm friends with, because I ain't a friend with dudes that mm -hmm. abuse women, but a lot of dudes that I know of, they watched their mm -hmm. father abuse women. So they grew up doing the same thing. I'm not saying that, that that's going to be an automatic grounds for it, but definitely the percentage is very high when people see a lot of crazy stuff growing up. And I understand that. But like I said before, just because you see those behaviors, that doesn't mean that you have to be subject to that. You have the opportunity as an adult to change the history that was written before you. And you have the the power to teach your kids that that's not right and to do things the right way. So us as people who have children, you have the opportunity to change history. You don't have to have the generational curse plaguing over your children. And yes, you may have seen that in your past or in your childhood, but that's not the life that you will want for yourself. And even the people who feel who fell victimized to the circumstances that they saw prior to them, there are plenty of ways to get help. And even if you can't get help on your own, your friends should be there to to tell you that this is not right and to help you seek the help that you need okay so a question that was asked so i got a quick question on brian have you apologized and corrected your mistakes in your past with your children's mother now that you have established yourself as an adult i don't know who that is and what they got to do with what we're talking about though brian you you sitting up here so they gonna ask you questions yeah Each, are you are. single but I don't even know the angle for that, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know the angle for that. Like, what like, what they got to do with anything? But and how, and how does she know what I did or haven't done? That's what I'm saying. Like, what's the angle well, for that? Hold on, now, hold on, like, still, now, She don't know. Still, but she don't know my relationship with my kid's mom, so why would she ask me that? That's what I'm saying. Hold on, Brian. Hold on. So, see, you forget what you all said now. Let me look at you for a second, because you forget. Because you came up here, and you said that back in the past, you did some fucked up shit. You ain't say it like that, but that's basically what you said. Okay, you said that. I wasn't particular, though. Huh? <laughs> I wasn't particular. Okay, well, she asked a particular question, so you can't elaborate. If you don't want to elaborate, just say you don't elaborate. I don't I want to know what she's talking about, what angle she come from. I don't, I don't even get the question. Isha, are you single? I am single. Because oh, um, you, you turned me on a little bit when you came up here. I'm gay, though, but you turned me on a little bit. It's, it's okay. It's fine. And, Junior, I was cracking up at you because your facial expressions do it for me. I was in my room cracking up. Do you hear me? Cracking up. But it's all good. I thank you for the compliment. I really appreciate that very much. Man, Isha is single. How old are your kids? How old are my children? Mm -hmm. 17 and 8. Okay, y'all, she got, okay, so she got. This is not Women Crush Wednesday. 
Oh, uh, you should come back on Room Request, please, and we'll hook you up. We'll hook you up. That was already established. See, you, you, you walked too fast. They said hey, you can raise. But Brian got somebody. He said he's not single. You know, we a dragon, y'all. So I was trying to. Oh okay. Hey, don't do that, bro. Don't do that, bro. Cause I ain't dragging nobody. But don't do that. Okay, so Ty say you can raise the kids. Right. Laquita saying keep it cute. Laquita keep... saying keep it cute. Okay, you got to keep it cute at all times. They said, um, Ty said you can raise your kids right and give them everything and they can still go out there and dog the next. I don't totally agree. I've seen a lot of great parents and their children have horrible relationships. Right, 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 right. They could go, right. It could go, right. it could go either way. It could go way. both ways. It's sure. called break yeah, the yeah. cycle. Some yeah. friends are friends in need and not friends in deed. Thank right. You. My uh, thing is, my thing, my thing is for me with kids, like when I send them out in the world, I want to know that I did everything that I could. Not saying they're gonna do, they probably gonna change and be a whole nother person, but just right. you just want them to leave your doorstep with the confidence knowing you did everything, and that's all we can do though at the end of the day. No matter that is what. It. That's that's all we can do is raise them the right way into the best of our ability. Yeah, they choose, yeah. they can choose to make their own choices. Right. Right. <laughs> But it does. But I w what I was saying was it doesn't have to be that way. You know, just because you see things, that doesn't mean that you have to follow into those footsteps. You could definitely right. change history. Right. It doesn't right. have and to be should. that way. And you should. Yeah. You should definitely. And that's that should be your focus and your aim, though. Every adult. Yep. But some don't, though, and and it's sad. But you know, but you got to also understand, not everybody is strong minded. So you also have to understand and realize that, like. The reason why we got counselors and, and, and everybody in place in higher positions is because everybody never going to be on the same level. You know what I'm saying? That's why it is different positions in life and different chain of commands, no matter where you go at and no matter what it's dealing with, for that same right. reason. If everybody was on the same level, then it wouldn't be the way it is. All four of us, we, we different in our own way, so we're going to have different opinions and different levels of whatever, right. you know what I'm saying, over each other. Everybody got a different strength and weakness in this room right now, but right. that just what it boils down to. You know what I'm saying? So Right. I, I think no weakness. Don't be turning no weakness on me. You don't have no weakness. <laughs> you talking you talking to me? Where bro, raise them right and yeah. they choose to do otherwise. Right, right, bro, right, right, right. That's all we can do, though, for real. It's not going to work. Hold on, I'm waiting on a question coming through. Mm -hmm. I thought Leah was going to elaborate on her question. Yeah, she is. So, yeah. Hold on one second. Okay, because he act like he don't understand no, I understand clearly. I just want to know what she's talking about. That's all I want to know. <laughs> well, just know you can't come up here and say something because I'm going to remind you about what you said. <laughs> it, it, ain't, it ain't nothing I can choke on, period. I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. One thing about me, any and every flaw I never did, I can own up to it. I don't got to run from nothing. Okay, Isha. Um, one second. I'm Isha, I'm going to let Bree. you go. Let me add Leo in. Okay. okay. Thank Thanks. you. Bye, y'all. Love you, love Bye, you. Bye, Isha. Okay, try to come back on. I'm excited. I know Leah about to give me what I need right now. <laughs> Let me hold on. Let me clean my screen for this because I feel like it's <laughs> Come on, Facebook. Act like you got some sense. <laughs> I hate Facebook. I am lying.
It's not letting her join. Mm -mm. It took it right back out. Look at Brian. He trying to compose himself for Leo. Look. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to see what 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 this ordeal is, man. For real. <laughs> Made me proud, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> why you? Why are you like this? I'm waiting on um to see if they'll be able to add. Come on, there we go. Yep. It's, it's it should be. Okay, I'm about to say it should be fine. Okay. So I listened to you talk and I was in total agreement with you, Brian. Hello, everybody. I don't got to go on to nothing, but I had to get on because this really bothered me. So I knew, I know one of your children's mothers since I went to Carolina with her, which is Lauren Statton. I've seen her journey from when we went to Carolina till now. I know her struggle with her children. You are the father of one of her children, correct? Brie. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what is your Bri, relationship Bri, with home. Brie and how have you repaired that? You're talking all of this this talk like you've done all this growing but where have you reached back and made sure that you corrected those mistakes with her? What are you talking about? That's what, I the last what are you time talking you about? Bri? When the last time I see my daughter? When the last time you see Brie? I just seen my daughter. Why? That's not correct. According to her mother. I'm a Say what? That's not correct, according to her mother. There's two sides to a story, so you're going to listen. You, you know her. her. You know her. You don't know me. This would, be, you, this would be a situation where you could just answer correctly. Why would her mother lie you, and say you have not saw her since a certain time frame? Why her mother did a lot of stuff. I'm not going to get on here and bash her just to satisfy the situation, but I can tell you this. Man, it, it, listen, it, it, it's, it's a you lot see, you don't know, and I wouldn't even get up here and do that. That's where I call Cap at. Y'all get on social media and y'all talk all this big boy talk about what y'all do. And there's children left lost based on decisions of parents. And you're on here capping like you do all of this for all these children. Yo, you, you don't even know me, up. man. I, listen, I, I, like I said, I wouldn't even bash her to satisfy you. you. I wouldn't. Establish listen, no relationship talk your talk. With talk your talk. Seventeen. So this is cap. Talk your talk. This is. All I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't even bash her. I wouldn't bash her, man, to I satisfy you, man. And I, I, I allowed you to come on. And say I've made these listen, efforts. Listen, I'm not you're listen. Not I'm gonna bash talk. that girl to you're satisfy you, man. Obviously, you don't it's still some stuff you and you out. don't know, and you and I, and I won't even expose it on this social media platform, man. You're still interrupting me. Yeah, what was yo? yo what was who's this, who's this woman? Who's this woman, y'all? Who's this woman? Hey, who's this woman, y'all? I come on live. You, who's this woman? Opportunity to talk, and you ignored my question because you knew exactly what I was coming from. First off, I didn't know who you were, who what you were talking about. So what are you talking you about? You knew who I was coming from. You know exactly who I, I don't even about. know you. What are you talking about? Ma'am, I don't know you. You don't have to know me. So what are you talking Do about? Do you know your child? Listen, man, listen. Let me tell you exactly. one. I, like I said, I won't I won't bash her. I, or I won't even bring up what I need to bring up to satisfy you, man. This ain't the place for that. Yeah, it is. That, you, you you're, got to be saying this. This is what I'm talking about. Listen. Hey, act grown, man. Act grown. Act grown. This is be, be grown, the, man. This is be place. grown, man. This is all okay. Ain't no, ain't no way you just use that woman platform to try to come up here and talk something you don't know. Don't do that. You too grown for that. You too grown for that. That, 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 that. I know she got to be single. She got to be single. She's not. You, you, you ain't just got up here childish like that, man. Try to use somebody else's platform to try to nah. You could have contacted me if you thought you knew what you were talking about on a personal note. Don't get up on nobody's platform and now nah, you're supposed to be a whole grown adult. Don't do that. Cause you, and like I said, and I won't stoop to her level and, 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 and belittle that woman or even talk about stuff that me and that woman done went through just, just to satisfy her. Ain't for a lie. Nah, I don't do it. That's corny. I'd have never done that. You could have never got me in that place, man. The devil busy, though. Okay, so let me clarify this. That woman that you're referring to, that's my sister. The information came from her mother. She goes up there quite often to get her hair done. So they talk. So she's getting it from the source. And she called but bullshit because at the end of the day, you're talking about all these things that you, you elaborate to your children and whatnot. So you brought your children in it. So that's why she jumped in it as far as your children. 
but you can't, but you can't like like that's if it's I knew you but didn't know somebody else. You can't bring that to a platform whenever you never that girl never met me a day in her life. Your sisters, you know what I'm saying? So you can't just say because you know this woman that that woman was all honest. Nah, you can't do that because it's too like when two people in a relationship or got kids together, I don't never take nobody's side, even my sister, because I don't know what they do behind closed doors. You get what I'm saying? I wasn't there for that situation. So I'm not going to act like I know more than anybody know when it comes to that situation. You get what I'm saying? But like I said, but I wasn't going to go into detail and even elaborate on nothing pertaining to that because that ain't they sitting in place for that, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Right. It definitely, and it's definitely not the time for me to try to express to somebody else about what my relationship is with my kids or how I talk to her mama. Nah, that ain't, I ain't finna go that right. I ain't finna go that right. There's a lot I could say to defend myself, but I'm not finna stoop that low. There's okay, a lot so I could say. <laughs> so let, let me say this, Brian. Um, I, I agree with you. It, it's, it's, it's three sides to a story. It's your side, it's the mom's side, and then somewhere in between it's the truth. Because I, I don't, I believe that both sides are going to have their reality and their, their delusion of what happened, right? And somewhere in between both of those people, it's the truth, okay? It, I, I agree with you on that. That You basically say that, but you said it in different words. But I also want to express this because I think earlier you came on and you was talking about social media, right? Um, what people have to understand is that when you come to a platform, regardless to any platform, I'm known and my best friend, she's known. And when you come to a platform, just just like that happened to you, that could have happened to me. That could have happened. Like, on social media, you have to kind of be prepared. Even, like you say, she don't know you, right? But being that you're on a, a platform. She said she met you before. Know. I ain't never met. I, don't, I ain't never met her before. If I did, I'm telling you right well, now. If, if, if she must have was in a room and I ain't knew who she was, but yeah, I ain't never met her. But go ahead, bro. Um, I'm just trying to say. I'm not saying I'm not taking anybody's side. Okay, I'm trying to be neutral to this, but I'm trying to get you to understand that. Also, when it comes to social media, where people 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 think they know me just from platforms I'm on, right? So people have their opinion and ain't gonna have whatever say so about me. I've had people call me bottom feeders, the lowest of the low, bottom of the bear type bitch. I'll, different stuff. People are gonna have their opinion about you. And you can't really change somebody's opinion about you. All you can do is, is, is prove yourself different and prove it wrong. Um, with that being said, if anything, I think this helped with you on a, a platform. Like, if this happens again, you kind of know. Sometimes you, you can't react to everything. Like, I understand you, you was getting a little frustrated. It's normal. But I'm going to say like this. Welcome to social media. This is what happens. And this is why... I, I tell people all the time, social social media is not for everybody. Um, because you have to have strong skin, you have to have be tough. You you have to, you know, people is gonna have their opinion, they're gonna have their say about you. That don't mean you have to accept what they're saying. That don't no, mean facts, you have to facts, what they're saying. Facts. That's why I said what I said. That's why I said I'm not about to get into what I need to get into just to satisfy anybody, her or anybody on the platform for that matter. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I know what time it is, and that, and that's just the bottom line. But the, you know, but that ain't nothing for me to prove to social media or somebody that got nothing to do with the raising of my child. Or you get what I'm saying? So that's why I said what I said. I wasn't really tripping by it, but I just wonder why you took the time to want to come here and felt like you was gonna get some. Some a different me from that. Nah, I wasn't gonna give you a different me. Like I said, I ain't into bashing no woman, especially my time. I ain't into none of that. Like I said, I could have got into stuff and in analytics to really prove my point or to actually, you know what I'm saying, to make myself look better. But I, I didn't care about none of that, man. That that's 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 small things. I know what time it is. Okay. Okay. I was just trying to clarify. Well, thank I didn't you, want you to... um, for joining. I appreciate you. All right. Yeah, thank you, Brian. What's good? Me. All right. Oh. I don't think um your baby mama came on. Huh? Ooh, girl. <laughs> oh. Um, you guys take the good with the bad. We open the door for discussions by joining. Correct. God damn this shit good. <laughs> Thank you, Calvin. Um, hey, Lauren. Yeah, he just got off. Hold on one well, second. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Brian. Um, come right back. Hold on. Brian, you want to come back up? Leah, come. No, Um, 
he said what he had to say. Healthy discussion now, for mm -hmm. real though. Okay. Now Bessie, Jimmy, now I'm Bessie. not trying to be I'm not trying to be messy, Bessie. You are. But that oh okay, let me shut up. Girl. Now, now, no, I'm, gonna say this. I'm not trying to be messy. No, she, um, she Lord, just said, hey, she didn't want to join. I was about to say, if Lord, do come on and say something. He has the right to move Of course, up. You know but saying? it's not going to be an argument. I'm not doing that. There'll be one at a time. Ooh. Girl, this better than TV tonight, girl. <laughs> I, I should have got, baby, let me get cute, cute. Cause baby, you know that. Yeah, you can join. Cause Leah wanted to talk, but she said she didn't want. She don't argue with men, so that's why she clicked off. Baby, let me hold on. Let me get cute, y'all, for my close up and shit. Cause baby, this, okay. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> we know one thing for certain and two things for sure. I don't argue with men. I've never. I've been, been raised to argue with men. I'm not about to oh, sit there and let you over talk me when you had your say. I gave him the opportunity to ask the question. He came on here high and mighty saying what he had to say. And I agreed with him at some points. But then I started looking and thinking. I was like, I know this man. Why do I know this man? Because this man is a deadbeat. That's why I know this man. And one thing I can't stand is a capping ass deadbeat man that decides to move on with his life after he figured it out. And it's too fucking flawed, weak, or whatever he choose to be to reach back and make sure he's making sure his other kids are straight that he damn deteriorated damaged or whatever i don't give a fuck where he at in this lifetime but what you're not gonna do is act like you got your shit together and we all know well some of us know that you don't you might have it in some places but there's still a lot of therapy and a lot of work that you need to do that you sitting on this platform like it's not so that's why i was asking him like at what point in this journey are you going to reach back and correct those mistakes? Or are you just going to move on with your life like it doesn't happen? Like it didn't happen like most men do. And that's my problem with his statement and his stance. Yeah, you got your shit together now, but you have left a trail of damage that you refuse to look back on because it will be too much work for you to correct it. Fix that shit. Then come on a platform and lecture us about being a fucking woman and what we shouldn't be doing and how great are you a man? Because you got a, a, a daughter out here that doesn't have a dad. Next. And I'm done with that so, conversation. So I, I do want to elaborate on, on something you said, though, because I, I kind of disagree. Mm -mm. I think I think we as a, a, I'm going to speak. I can't speak for other race because I ain't no other race, but black and you know I got a little Cherokee in mm -hmm. me. But I think stop doing that ancestry <laughs> stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. I think we as a black uh, black community, I think sometimes we get strong on the fact that you can't correct mistakes from the past. I, and I think where we get real, I think that's what we lose a lot on us when we're trying to correct mistakes. And I'm not you saying can't correct. That, well, hold, maybe you're mistaken on, what on. I said. I didn't say correct. No, I'm, no, hold on for a second. No, no, I'm, I'm not. No, I'm speaking in general now. I'm just saying, no, I heard what you said. I understood it. But what, what all I'm saying is what you said wasn't wrong. But what I'm saying is, is that I, instead of us trying to correct our mistakes in the past, we move forward and we acknowledge the fact that, hey, this is what we did. Exactly. But this is what we're going to go forward. And how am I going to make sure well this doesn't continue to happen? What efforts are you making? And that was my only question. He couldn't answer that. So it's Kat. Bye. Did you know, and then second of all, I don't ever come on my sister's platform. I'm in the background working, trying to come up with questions. And trying to establish her, this is not my limelight. I don't like being on the camera. I am not photogenic. I don't like none of that shit. So for him to say I'm coming on her platform and taking this, no. I'm the person behind pushing. So you got the wrong one. <laughs> and that's my mama's other child. Um, <laughs> Rara said... Um, the hardest thing for dating for dating for me is females can't accept me for my per for my personal life, but tripping when it comes to being an entertainer. Okay, so you're a comedian, correct? <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. What type of entertainer? Comedian? No, you a male dancer. I think he's a comedian, Lauren. Oh, Ooh, baby. 
Baby, I don't know what to say. Now, tell you, Utah, we don't come up here with this energy tonight. It wasn't the co-host you had to worry about tonight. Ooh, oh, you are a um, comedian. I thought so. So you saying it's hard for you because they can't accept your... Hey, Robin. Hey, Soleil. Somebody's big man. Hi, Scalvin. <laughs> I know, bro. I stand <laughs> 10 toes down. It's a time and place for everything. Brian, I don't, I don't know you. All I, all I simply say is that if Lauren come up here and say something, you have a right to rebuttal. Um, I'm just meeting y'all tonight. <laughs> y'all, do I need to go get my Dr. Phil glasses? Because I mean, we, we you can't get out of them, so it don't even matter. Oh, but back to Rara. Um, so what's so hard about you dating, like? So they can accept you for your personal life, but it's hard for you to date because you're a comedian, because you're an entertainer. In what way? Personal trips in my personal life. They good with me and the family going in personal trips in my personal life. Okay, and what's wrong with your professional life then? Also, I can't see his comments. Baby. Desi, why you ain't saying nothing about my waves? Um, I was so I was so sick that my stomach, your head kept spinning. Thank you. Period. <laughs> oh, you're sick over here. Period. <laughs> but when females shout out things in the audience, it it comes up when we are out somewhere. They start tripping. Shouting out things like what? I'm curious now. What type of jokes you say? <laughs> that, that, that female shouting out to you and I. Right, because anytime I go see a comedian, I try to stay at the limelight. I'm trying to pin up my hair so my hair don't show too much. Right. Like, I don't want front seats because I don't want to be the center of a, a joke. Like, I'm trying to figure out what they, right. what they got to say to you and you got the mic. Because it's on two things that happen when a comedian try to come for me. Either I'm going to come for them back and make them look crazy or I'll be about to fight. One or two. So keep it with it. Because I don't have the old joke on me face. Mm -mm. Baby. Ooh. I wasn't ready for that tonight. Okay, so what what type of jokes are you saying to make somebody say what room they in? I feel I'm like you're going to this. I feel like you. I feel like you hired some rah rah. I feel like you trying to get us on your side without telling us the full detail. Give me your number, Rabbi, Come up, join rah rah. Oh, come they up. saying that they in room three thirteen. Give me your number after the show, etc. Come up, rah rah. <laughs> come up, rah rah. He's being in the line like he might as well. Come on, rah rah, because. Come on. I'm lost. I'm lost, too. We we about to get a, a understanding. Come it's on, some type of joke he's... I don't even want to talk... I pro, that's probably it. He be joking on them. It's something more to it. I don't want to sit here and guess. I want to call bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Now he laying down and can't come up. Laying down. It's 11 o'clock. Ooh, baby. But I would join for... Okay, so what was the point of saying you laying down? See, that's why they be in the crowd all in the room <laughs> 313 and stuff. Because, see, now the truth coming out. Because you say some sleep shit like that, and then, and then I, 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 come on, Ra Ra. Just <laughs> don't mind, Junior. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Lena. Hey, y'all. If I didn't um, shout y'all out when y'all were joining, I don't like to interrupt people when they're talking, especially when it's good. He, send him a join so invite, Tay. I don't see him listed. I already tried. Okay, Ra Ra. Go out the Go ahead. Go out the live and come back in, rah rah, and it should be a little join button there that shows up for like thirty seconds or something. Correct. 
that be see I had never seen my impression on itself so much. Let me tell you, this thing I got so good. I didn't realize my lip gloss went off my lips. You know how I am about my lip gloss. Everybody know how I am about my lip gloss. Baby, let me get my lip gloss. Oh my god, hater. Waves on fleet. Please don't, please don't, Aisha. Please don't gas them up. Please don't. Lips popping in waves. Period. Ooh. So you ain't tell me I look this good on camera tonight. Aisha, come on, man. Don't juice him up. You already know he's like talking to... by himself. So one night, oh, we go Thursday night. You don't see it. His... I think Rob Rock happened. <clears throat> oh, I see. Hold on. Let me see. You see him? Yep. I. Now he come up here, though, dog. What's up? You can't tell people how to come on live. I already told you about that. Welcome. Now, what were you saying? So it's like this. I'm an entertainer since 99. Uh, when I date female, from a personal standpoint, I out with the family, meet the family, uh, home cooking, going out on personal trip, everything fine. But when I tell them, try to give them a heads up of what to expect when we date, they're like, oh, I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm a, I'm a confident woman. I'm going home with you. I ain't worried about it. Now, that's what they say until it actually happens. So when it actually happens, you know, I'm on stage and females yelling out. I mean, room 313 and she's in the audience. So after the show, I got to argue two hours about a woman I don't know, five hours away in Chicago. I'm like, so we arguing about a woman I don't know. Or if I'm out eating here in Columbia and a female come up and her guy is like in the background, but she want she want her guy to take a picture and they get a picture with me. But when they leave, oh, bitch you fucking, that's some bitch you fucking. So like I said, the personal side, they cool. But they can't seem to adjust to the entertainer side of my life and I get frustrated with it and I'm about soon oh, no. okay so let me give you another side to this because I, I think you're being a little unfair let me explain why with the situation you described is no different than you going to a strip club and meeting a dancer that you want to make your wife Mm, I, it's the same. It's the same thing. I understand that, but I ain't gonna even put myself in that situation to go to strip club with. Oh, so in other words, so in other words, you saying the, the female shouldn't put themselves in the situation that they shooting? Say that again, now. So in other words, you, but you said you won't put yourself in that situation for the scenario I just gave you, right? So in other words, you're telling the females they shouldn't put themselves in the situation with you, then, right? I'm not saying that. To I'm saying to each his own, but if. I'm not going to go to a strip club with my female and put myself in a situation where I'm going to get in my feelings because I'm watching these guys on her. And I may not get in that. I may not get in my feelings, but I'm I'm just not going to put... I let her go have her fun, do whatever she do, get all wet, wet, and whatever, whatever she going to do. You know, so I'm not going to put myself in that situation. I feel like I give them that that filter before any of this happens to try to prepare them, but still yet they tripping. Now I'm I'm all the way in Chicago. We done flew there. This woman I don't know, but the woman says I'm in room three thirteen. We going back to the to the room in the hotel. I got to argue for two hours about a woman I don't know in another time zone. Mm. So, that, so that's that, why you have problems with dating, like that's that's what I got to it. I and I understand, like 
I have I have I have a role to play in it too. So if 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 these female really coming on to me in front of her, then I have to check that. But I'm on stage and for 45 minutes I'm the center of attention. Right. These women gonna find something sexually uh attracted by me or just the fact that I'm an entertainer on stage. And they call groupies. And they and they say these things, you know. So that's that's why. It comes okay. For me. So so with that being said, when they come at you like that while you on stage for forty five minutes, and forty five minutes, do you make a joke to where you let it be known that y'all go get me beat up by my wife or my oh, girl I, I, or something I do, like that? I do sometimes. Sometimes I do, but not. I don't. I don't always address the audience because if, if you start doing that then these hecklers gonna keep going and if, and if you keep going with these hecklers they'll either take the show from you or take it personal and you will see an episode that you saw that happened me in Columbia with Steve Brown where the guy been throwing that microphone at him I don't know if y'all saw that video but I had a, a comedian friend Steve Brown here in Columbia I was there and he kept messing with the guy, and the guy didn't want to be bothered. And the next thing you know, the guy's on stage trying to take his head off with the microphone stand. But it... <clears throat> well, I think I think that's for entertainers to know when to mess with somebody and when to not mess with somebody. Yes, right. So, so, uh, so you can't blame that on the audience. You have to blame that on the, the entertainer. I, I am blame. I'm, I am blaming it on the entertainer. Because when that guy was telling him, man, I, I ain't about the jokes tonight, go ahead, just, just mess with somebody else. Steve should have left him alone. Right. But then at the same time, if you ain't for the jokes tonight, then why are you at a comedy spot? But, well, hold up now, because you can't say that. Because I, I, hold up. Now, hold I, up, I, I can honestly say, I'll try, I'll make sure I don't get front seats because I don't want to be the center of the joke. Because I know first thing, they were like, oh, with a red, I mean, I know my hair attracts attention. So I don't want to be the center of the joke. So therefore, I'm not sitting up front. Because I'm coming to the show, that don't mean I want to be joked on. Like, it's an open season for me. Like, it's up because they already purchased tickets. <laughs> but, um, I don't, I don't, I don't follow that. Yeah, it's a, it's a little fine balance um, with it, but I, I, that was some healthy conversations you had earlier. I think, I think tempers fly and emotions, but right, it, 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 it was healthy. I mean, and I, I like what you're doing, um, and I, and I came in on the tail end making comments about kids. I thought we was talking about kids until I went out and read what your what your thing was about. So yeah, keep keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate it. Thank you. And, and, and your co host and your co host, yeah, keep him. <laughs> he keep ain't going nowhere. We've been friends yeah. for about and, and, six years. And your sister years. said something too that, that I like. Uh She's like in the background, trying to help her sister by coming up with questions to keep to keep your 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 your, your format your platform going. Correct. You know, but I'm a, I'm gonna try to catch you um, some more and chime in. I ain't I ain't gonna come back on because y'all y'all be wilding out. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Take care. All right, and next time you in Columbia um, at the Comedy House or anything, let me know. Okay. Okay, co-host, peace out. <laughs> peace out. <laughs> I'm getting front seats next time you come to the Comedy House because if you bust a joke on me, I'm going to make them laugh back at you. <laughs> <laughs> and he left at exit stage. <laughs> but I'm going to... Um, <laughs> tonight was... Tonight was good. Tonight was um, tonight was interesting. <laughs> it now was you very made interesting. Me take my ways for them. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Isha. Thank you. But y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, 
Thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate each and every pew pew. <laughs> yes. Thank y'all for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you uh, for taking the time out just to even even to either pop in or to voice your opinion or to send me inboxes for the um for the motivation for all that. So um oh we love you well we love you too. I'm speaking from um good show. I wish I was here earlier. Ooh, baby. Lauren, I don't think they were ready for you to fire back. I, I promise you, babe, he, he he wasn't ready for you to fire back. Everything happened for a reason. <laughs> Everything happened for a reason. But um, Women Crush Wednesday was the, is coming it was up. Going to get the I'm going to ask the same push, question dealing with women. Why is it so hard with dating? Um, What were your best dates? What were dates from hell? I want them all. I want all the tea on that. Um, Tomorrow's topic, I haven't. I'm still battling on the two topics that I want to talk on tomorrow, but I will post it tomorrow. But we'll be back tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. I thank y'all for tuning in. As always, we love you. My co-host, y'all already know him. Thank y'all. Good night. Love y'all. Good night. <laughs>